Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This is the YouTube shows. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're gonna to be we're gonna be teaching you top 10 things to not do while drawing dinosaurs. Okay? So right here we have our basic outline, you know, nothing too fancy smancy, but nothing too bad either. It's a basic outline. Then I'm gonna be showing you the top 10 things to not do while drawing dinosaurs. This is, this is specifically a T-Rex, but I'm going to try and make these rules apply to pretty much any dinosaur. Okay? Let's just jump right into it, okay? Number one. Don't make the foot that is farther away lower than the foot that is closer to you. I will show you what I mean here. Here. As you can see, it makes the dinosaur lack perspective and depth. So do not make this foot lower down than this foot. The, do not make the foot at the other side of the T-Rex lower down than the foot that is closer to you, okay? But with every rule, there are exceptions to this rule. All right, and I'll show you one of them right now. Here is the first exception. Maybe this foot is on a rock, and so it's bent over on a rock, and then this foot is down here. It does not lack any perspective or depth because you can obviously see that this foot is on a rock. Now this may be pretty obvious, but yes. And another exception is maybe this foot isn't even on a rock. Maybe it's not even on anything. Maybe it's just in the air. Maybe the dinosaur is running and its foot is and this foot's in the air, little this foot's on the ground. Those are basic exceptions for that rule. But I'm gonna keep this rock here because I think it looks makes it look cool. So I'll keep the rock there, <laughs> but yes, that's our first thing to not do while drawing dinosaurs. Number two, don't make the neck too thin. If you do make the neck too thin, like this, as you can see, the dinosaur looks like its neck will snap. This is a pretty obvious one, but. Still think it's worthy on here since it is a mistake that I have made multiple times. And yes, do not do this, please, do not. Okay, actually physically hurt me. All right, number three it is. Do not make the tails too short. I will show you right now what it would look like if you made the tail too short. Here. As you can see, it, it looks like the dinosaur is about to fall over because the purpose of a tail is to balance out the weight and a T-Rex specifically has a lot of weight, especially at the head. So it needs a long tail to balance it out. So if it has a small stubby tail like this, well, it's gonna fall flat on its face and it won't be able to get up because of these flimsy little arms, as you can see right here. So yes, do not make the tails too short. Another thing is, do not make the tails too long. I will show you right now what it looks like to make the tails too long. I know I'm exaggerating a bit here with what you might accidentally do, but just to get the point across. As you can see, it looks like dancer just, the dancer just had a really long streamer attached to its butt. Do not make the tails too long. And our next point, which will be... Number four is do not make the tails too bendy. I'll show you what that looks like right now. Okay, as you can see here, this is a really bendy tail. Do not make your tails like this. Because it just looks like the dinosaur, it just, again, has a streamer attached to his butt. So make the tails, try and make them more stiff, like this outline you can see here from the last, from the proper way to do it. Yes, do not make those tails too bendy. All right, number five, do not make the eyes too big. If you make the eyes too big, then, bada bing, bada boom, you have anime T-Rex. If you wanna make a realistic T-Rex, then don't make the eye too big. But like some rules, there are exceptions. What if the T-Rex is a baby T-Rex? I will draw a little baby T-Rex right here and I'll show you what I mean. Yes, as you can see here, this is a little nightmare that I drew. Didn't put too much pride into it. But as you can see, the eye is really big. And that is okay because it is a baby. Baby, since their eyes are, well, you know, 
they're big because eyes don't really grow in your lifetime. The reason adults have smaller, have, appear to have smaller eyes than the babies, they're not actually smaller and the babies aren't actually bigger. They're both about the same size, but because eyes, they can't really grow, the babies, their eyes appear really big on their head and the adults appear smaller on their head. All right, that's one thing to not do. Number six, do not make the bottom jaw longer than the top jaw. As you can see here, we have a dinosaur with the bottom jaw being too long for the top jaw. As you can see, it is pretty, it is a pretty obvious one, but I do see this mistake quite a lot. So I thought I decided to be good enough to put it out there. It definitely looks like the dinosaur has a pretty big underbite. And it looks like the, this T-Rex is part of Spinosaurus or a crocodile. So for this really long skinny bottom jaw and a really normal head. Really normal head. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to get across here. All right, that is number five. And so there is an exception to the rule, and it's if you want your dinosaur to have an underbite. Also, could be because of perspective. Let's say you have a dinosaur, you know, facing facing towards you. Just draw a very quick one. The dinosaur facing. The dinosaur facing towards you. Then, of course, the bottom jaw looks a lot longer because it is pointing down while this one is pointing to you. So that is the exception to that rule, okay? Number six. Don't make the bottom jaw larger than the top jaw. I'll show you what I mean here. Now, of course, I said don't make it longer, but, it is, but of course, if, it make it, if you make it longer, then it probably will be larger. But don't do this. Yeah, looks ridiculous, I know, if the bottom jaw is larger than the top jaw, or the same size. So yeah, unless you are, unless you work for Pixar and the movie Dinos, and the movie The Good Dinosaur, then um, that is your exception to this rule. But um, yes, otherwise, do not, do not do this, please. Just one thing to look out for, do not do that. All right, on to the next one. Do not make the head too big. All right, so I'm going to do that in a little diagram here. I'm going to draw right here. Do not make your head too big. So here we have a very quickly drawn dinosaur head and then Here we go. <laughs> of course, this is an exaggeration, but you know, just get the point across. Do not do this. And this is number six. Do not draw the dinosaur heads too big, of course. Now this is a follow up on number seven, which will be do not make the dinosaur heads too small. I'll show you right here. I guess like you said, the little baby demon dinosaur right here. All right, do not make the heads too small for the butt. I, I'm not, I don't know, I'm drawing very quickly here. I'm not actually trying to make a good artwork here. I draw better than this. Much better. Just what I said with when I drew the Interruptor yesterday. Oh, the Interruptor was a nightmare thing. But anyway, here, you're not moving the head too small. This is, actually the head's not too small in this, di in this diagram, but 
To the point of class, do not make the head too small. Exceptions. Sauropods usually have small heads, but do not make the do not make the head too small for the dinosaur. Okay, there isn't really much you could do with exceptions. Some dinosaurs have small heads, some dinosaurs have large heads, so it varies there. But yeah. Do not make the heads too small. This head is actually the okay size of this body. This is not a good diagram, but yeah. Don't make the heads too small, okay? Number seven. Don't make the arms too long. I'll show you what I mean right here. The T-Rex has very small arms, not very puny arms. It's pretty famous for that. So don't turn those puny arms into something too big, like this. Do not turn them into this. Don't. Exceptions. Mm, of course, some dinosaurs have big arms, some dinosaurs have small arms when the dinosaurs don't have arms, but, you know, rules vary, so just, yes, with the drawing of T-Rex, make the arms small, because the T-Rex has small arms. Number eight. This is something a lot of people forget when they're drawing in the dinosaurs. They forget the tongue. Of course, I forgot the tongue. When I, well, I, wasn't, I didn't forget it when I was drawing this diagram for the video. I just want to make a basic outline, but do not forget the tongue. This is a mistake a lot of people make. And what are the exceptions? Mm, if a dinosaur is like this and don't want the tongue sticking out, the tongue's not sticking out, the tongue's in here, then that's... The only, only exception it can have, or another exception is if the dinosaur, if you have a story, if the dinosaur lost its tongue somehow. Or if the dinosaur was born with a disability of not having a tongue. I don't know. That is number eight. Number nine. Don't forget shading. Now, okay, you don't really have to shade any dinosaurs. But it makes them look way more, you know, poppy out. So this this rule doesn't really this rule of course doesn't apply to just dinosaurs as much as these rules. But just do shading. If you shade your dinosaur in, it'll look way better. As you can see, this already looks more popped out. You can even add, add a shade at the bottom. Here, you can shade in your baby demon dinosaur. You know, classic. Just a basic shade. No, nothing too shabby. Maybe even a little shade detail up here. Some little details in. Like so. Looking good. All right, the big old number 10, the final one. Don't be lazy. Drawing a dinosaur, don't be lazy. Like I was here, here, and here. Of course, I was just drawing these three diagrams here for, you know, um, just to teach you what to not do as just little examples. Of course, these diagrams, all these are examples, just examples. But when you're actually drawing a dinosaur, don't be lazy. Like I was with the interrupter. I, I can't, I can't even look at it. I can't, I, I can't even look at this. It's, I mean, it's not too bad, of course, if you like it. But anyway, here, make all 10. Don't be lazy with the dinosaurs. All right? Just don't really know I need an example. I kind of just showed you one. So, yes, thank you for watching. That's been the top 10 things to not do while drawing dinosaurs. If you want, I can do the top 10 things to do while drawing dinosaurs. But anyway, thank you for watching. This is the end of the YouTube shows. Please subscribe with a like on the video. And as always, Bye-bye.